In this video I will be covering some new insane features and improvements that have been made in After Effects version 23.4, including some crazy new design changes and a potential workaround to fix crashes. So they have completely redesigned the shape transform and shape properties. Quote, creating motion graphics is easier and faster with the properties panel. Use this to quickly access the important properties of selected text and shape layers in the timeline without twirling open multiple layer hierarchies or opening a different panel. It improves the accessibility of layers layer properties that speed up your workflows. So you can now access these settings without toggling the properties or changing the view of the timeline. This can be really useful if you want to change any of these properties really fast and don't want to open a ton of tabs. This can be a helpful time saver, especially for those who don't use keyboard shortcuts. The same change applies to the text, paragraph and text animation tab. And as you can see in the picture, it looks really clean and way better than before. You can now use the properties panel to quickly change the settings of the shape layer. Quote, use the properties panel to access and work with the selected layer transforms including anchor point position scale rotation and opacity this is also really useful as you no longer need to expand the layer to make these changes which i really think is a positive change speaking of positive changes after effects now attempts to identify effects potentially interfering with the project workflow and forcing the application to crash so you can basically use the effects manager to identify the effects that cause after effects to crash and you can access it by going to the top left to effect then manage effects you can now see all the effects in one list including a third party ones and if after effects is crashing then you can also use the startup and repair tab use the startup and repair panel under preferences to troubleshoot your set preferences and after effects without changing or remove them or starting over from scratch then they basically go over what each individual button does so this is really good as you can use this feature without needing to worry about resetting your keyboard shortcuts or your saved layout they've also improved file sorting for names and numbers and in the pictures you can see that they now sort after the decimals this is a small but still good change for those who like to use decimals in their file naming. You can now also snap 3D layers in space by changing the X, Y and C positions of the 3D gizmo. They have also redesigned the track map pick whip icon. Quote, the new track map pick whip icon is designed for you to easily differentiate it from the parent link one. The new icon combines the pick whip shape with a hint of transparency grid and is effortlessly identifiable while working on your workflows. This is not really a necessary change but it can be really positive for those who have trouble differentiating these two tools. After Effects now also supports footage from the Sony Winnie's 2 and iPhone cinematic mode. This change not only applies to After Effects but also Premiere Pro. So if you want you can also check out the Premiere Pro update video in the link in the description below. So currently in beta, light and camera extraction from 3D models. You can now extract cameras and lights from GLB and GLTF models in our composition. When you import a 3D scene with camera and light data, After Effects automatically creates a new camera and light layers. If the cameras or lights are animated, keyframes will be created too. If you like this video then please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.